governments and organizations around the world aren't exactly known for their transparency, even when they're spending taxpayers' money. But there are a number of places where the mystery and secrecy are taken to a whole new level. Whether for national security reasons or otherwise, in today's video, I'm counting down the 15 most secret facilities on Earth. Let's begin. Number 15. Mount Weather, United States Mount Weather is a government facility located in Virginia in the United States that's best known for its role as a backup location for the president and other high-ranking government officials in the event of a national emergency. It's operated by the Federal Emergency Management Agency and is one of the most secure and secretive locations in the United States. The Mount Weather facility is located on a 560-acre site in the Blue Ridge Mountains and was originally built in the 1950s as a communications center for the federal government. During the Cold War, however, its role was expanded to include a backup location for the president in the increasingly likely event of a nuclear attack. Today, Mount Weather is staffed by over 600 government employees and contractors and is equipped with a number of high-tech security measures including armed guards, electronic surveillance, and a system of blast doors. The site also has its own power generation, water supply, and food storage, which ensures it can be completely self-sufficient for extended periods of time. As it's designed for use by government officials who may have to still run the country following a major disaster or attack, it's also fitted with advanced communication systems that allow communication with the other priority facilities and with the outside world. It also has its own medical facilities, including a hospital and pharmacy, as well as living quarters for hundreds of government officials and their families. Because it's so important as a backup location for the government, Mount Weather is shrouded in secrecy. It isn't open to the public, and very little information is available about its actual operations, capabilities, or defensive abilities. However, it's known to play a critical role in the government's continuity of operation plans, which are designed to ensure that the government can continue to function in any eventuality. Number 14. Pionen Data Center, Sweden the Pionen Data Center is an underground data center located in Stockholm in Sweden. It's located about 100 feet or 30 meters below the surface, and it's housed in a former Cold War-era nuclear bunker. This data center is operated by Banhof, a Swedish internet service provider, and is known for its unique and futuristic design and its heightened security, of course, with very few people other than those that work there knowing the full extent of its protective measures. The center was first opened in 2008 and was designed by Albert France Leonard Architects to be completely self-sufficient with its own backup power supply and air filtration system. It also features multiple layers of physical and digital security measures, such as reinforced walls, steel doors, fingerprint scanners, 24-hour surveillance, and a redundant backup system in place, all of which makes it arguably one of the most secure data centers in the world. This level of security and secrecy has led to the center attracting a number of high-profile clients, including WikiLeaks, which moved its servers to the center in 2010. It was also used by a number of other companies and organizations, including banks, government agencies, and other internet service providers, making it a true treasure trove of valuable information. Number 13. RAF Menwith Hill, UK RAF Menwith Hill is a Royal Air Force station located in North Yorkshire, England. That's around 200 miles or 322 kilometers to the north of London. Currently, it's being used by the United States Air Force and is the largest electronic monitoring station in the world outside of the United States, with a huge satellite ground station. The site was originally built in 1954 by the Royal Air Force as a communications intercept station. In 1960, however, it was transferred to the United States Air Force and has been operated by them ever since, with the primary mission of the station being able to provide intelligence and support to the United States and the United Kingdom. As a result, the RAF Menwith Hill has become one of the most important information collecting sites in the world. It plays a key role in the intelligence gathering efforts of the US and its allies, and it's responsible for processing data from a wide range of sources, including communications, electronic signals, and satellite imagery. It's also responsible for the operation of the Ballistic Missile Early Warning System, which provides early warning of an incoming missile attack towards the U.S. mainland, and is home to the Joint Intelligence Operations Center Europe, which provides support to U.S. and NATO forces across Europe. In recent years, though, there's been some controversy surrounding the activities of Menwith Hill, particularly with the station's ability to monitor electronic communications with very little oversight or regulation. Its location outside of the U.S. means that the rules on monitoring U.S. citizens are different, and because of security concerns, the full extent of its monitoring capabilities has never been made public, which further fuels worry about what actually goes on there. 
Number 12. Fort Knox, United States Probably the most famous high-security and secret facility in the world, Fort Knox is a United States Army post located in the state of Kentucky. It's best known for its role as the site of the United States Bullion Depository, which holds a significant portion of the country's gold reserves, but it's also home to the Army Human Resources Command, the Army Recruiting Command, and various other military units. The United States Bullion Depository, better known as the Fort Knox Gold Vault, was first constructed in the 1930s as a response to the economic instability of the Great Depression. It's located deep within the fort, and it's protected by layers of security measures, including armed guards, electronic surveillance, and a system of blast doors. Currently, it's believed to hold over 147 million ounces of gold, making it one of the largest gold depositories in the world, with holdings estimated to be worth over $200 billion so it's no surprise this is one of the most secure places on the planet. In addition to its main role as a repository, Fort Knox is an important Army training center. The post is home to the United States Army Armor School, which provides training for tank crews and other armored vehicle operators, and also hosts the Cadet Initial Entry Training Program, which provides basic training for new Army recruits. Number 11. Olasver Naval Base the Cold War understandably worried nations around the world, and while many weren't able to engage in the nuclear arms race in the way that the US and the Soviet Union did, they were able to take precautions in other ways. The Norwegian government, for example, was particularly concerned about troop movements in northern waters, and so decided to build one of the only known naval bases in the Arctic Circle. Positioned just outside of the city of Tromsø, the Olesvær naval base was carved right into a mountainside and contained everything needed to fully operate a fleet. There was 270,000 square feet or 25,000 square meters of interior space beneath 899 feet or 274 meters of bedrock. This included a huge area dedicated to housing, 32,000 square feet or 3,000 square meters of deep water dock, and a dry dock that could hold six submarines with further docks, workshops, and moorings all hidden within the mountain, and a 3,000-foot or 900-meter-long tunnel to access it. The base was successfully hidden for a few decades and was ultimately decommissioned in 2009. The problem, however, was that the Norwegian government sold the base off to a private company, and it soon became clear that it was then being rented by Russian companies linked to the government. With such a concern that it had been used by Russian troops, ownership of the base reverted to the Norwegian government, and they've now restarted some operations, including those with Allied powers. Just how active the facility is now isn't clear, but with the way world politics is changing, this could soon become a hugely valuable strategic outpost to whoever controls it. Number 10. Kapustinyar, Russia Located around 62 miles or about 100 kilometers to the east of the Russian city of Volgograd in southern Russia, Kapustin Yar is one of the country's most important and secretive military bases. It was established in 1946 and was where the majority of materials salvaged from the fallen Nazi regime were taken to see how they could be incorporated into Russian military technology. Kapustin Yar soon became the focal point of Soviet missile research, with countless test launches as well as satellites and sounding rocket programs and the base became so large that two supporting towns were built to serve it. Amazingly, it was almost a decade before any other country became aware of the base's existence, and by that time, Soviet scientists were testing atmospheric nuclear weapons at the site, also believed to be where Sputnik 1 and 2 were launched from, and also where some of the early Soviet spacecraft tests originated. It's now also known as Russia's Roswell, where conspiracy theorists believe all the Russian evidence of extraterrestrial life is taken. It is, of course, likely that Russia has a number of other secret bases that no one even has an inkling exists, but even though that we know it's there, there's still plenty of research being undertaken at Kapustin Yar that governments around the rest of the world would be extremely interested in learning about. Number 9. Rammstein Air Force Base, Germany Rammstein Air Force Base is a United States Air Force installation located in Germany, and because of how crucial it is to operations, most of what takes place there is highly classified. It's located in the state of Rheinland-Pfalz and serves as the headquarters for the United States Air Force in Europe and the NATO Allied Air Command, with it being home to several military units, including the 86th Airlift Wing and the 435th Air Ground Operations Wing. The base was first set up in 1952 as part of the United States' Cold War strategy, where it was initially used as a logistics and transportation hub, supporting the military efforts of the United States and its NATO allies in Europe. 
In the decades since, Rammstein Air Force Base has played a critical role in a number of military operations, including the Gulf War, the Iraq War, and the war in Afghanistan, and its role has been substantially expanded. Today, this Air Force Base is one of the most important U.S. military installations outside of the continental U.S., providing critical support to military operations in Europe and beyond. The base is home to a number of advanced aircraft, including the C-130 Hercules, the C-21A, and the C-17 Globemaster III, which are regularly used to provide transportation and logistical support to military operations throughout Europe and the Middle East. In addition to its military operations, Rammstein Air Force Base is also an important center for humanitarian and disaster relief efforts, and it's played a vital role in providing aid to refugees, assisting in disaster relief efforts, and supporting the humanitarian efforts of organizations like the United Nations. Number 8. HARP Research Station, Alaska The HARP Research Station, which stands for High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program, first started being built in Gakona, Alaska in 1993 as a joint project between the U.S. Air Force, Navy, the local university, and the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, which is more commonly known as DARPA. The official reason for the station was to study the Earth's ionosphere and to try to develop enhancement technologies for communications and surveillance within it. Essentially, the facility is a high-powered, high-frequency transmitter that directs a 3.6 megawatt signal into the ionosphere, and this can either be continuous or pulsed. On the face of it, the authorities running the research station have been fully transparent with the work that they're doing to try to unlock the secrets of the highest level of our atmosphere but there are plenty of suggestions that all may not be how it seems. Having cost more than a quarter of a billion dollars to build and with several agencies involved in its operation, not only have the emissions from the radio station affected the ability of local communities to use technology, but they've also interfered with the local ecosystems for an as yet unexplained reason. There are suggestions that the true nature of this research station is to try to weaponize weather systems to secretly hijack electronic signals as they pass through the ionosphere, or even try to develop a form of mind control. Well, whether quite HARP is a super secret weapons facility with a science experiment as a cover story, or is exactly what they claim it is, can't really be known for certain, but it surely wouldn't be beyond the realm of possibility. Number 7. The Svalbard Global Seed Vault, Norway it's located on the Norwegian island of Spitsbergen, near the Arctic Circle. The Svalbard Global Seed Vault is a secure storage facility that's designed to preserve the world's crop diversity by storing seeds from a wide variety of plant species, just in case there's a disaster that wipes out a significant portion of the world's plant life. It was established in 2008 as a partnership between the Norwegian government, the Global Crop Diversity Trust, and the Nordic Genetic Resource Center. And to remain secure and safe, it's built into a frozen mountainside, being designed to withstand natural events such as earthquakes, floods, and other extreme weather events. The vault's location in the Arctic Circle is also an advantage, as the cold temperatures help preserve the seeds for longer periods of time. The vault currently holds over a million seed samples from all over the world, each of which are kept in sealed containers and stored in temperature-controlled conditions, ensuring that they remain viable for decades, if not centuries. The seeds are also backed up by duplicate copies stored in seed banks around the world, providing an additional layer of protection against the loss of crop diversity. This facility plays a critical role in global food security, ensuring that the world's plant species can be preserved and protected for future generations. It's open to governments, researchers, and other organizations who wish to deposit or withdraw seeds, as well as serving as a source of genetic material for plant breeders who are working to develop new crop varieties that are resistant to disease, pests, and environmental stress. The value of what's contained within there, though, means that very few people have access to the site itself, and there are said to be a number of security precautions that haven't fully been revealed to the public. Number 6. Raven Rock Mountain Complex, United States the Raven Rock Mountain Complex is a U.S. government facility located near Blue Ridge Summit in Pennsylvania. It's part of the Continuity of Government, or COG, program which was established during the Cold War to ensure the continuity of the United States government in the event of a nuclear attack or other catastrophic event. Built deep within a mountain and designed to be self-sufficient for an extended period of time, the facility includes offices, dormitories, dining facilities, and other amenities needed to support a large number of people for as long as needed, and to keep them safe in any eventuality. It's designed to withstand a nuclear blast and other forms of attack, and since its creation, the Raven Rock Mountain Complex has played a critical role in ensuring the continuity of the U.S. government in times of crisis. 
It's been activated several times over the years, including during the terrorist attacks on September 11, 2001, and several times during the Cold War, when the threat level escalated. Today, it remains an important component of the COG program and provides a secure location for government officials to meet and make decisions in the event of a catastrophic event. In addition to its role in the COG program, the Raven Rock Mountain Complex has also been used for various other government functions too, such as becoming a communications hub during the Gulf War and as the location for training exercises for the government agencies and military, most of which are highly classified because of their sensitive nature. Number 5. Yulin Naval Base Hainan Island is the most populated island in China with around 10 million residents. It's also a tourist hotspot with glorious beaches and stunning resorts, particularly on the southern part of the island. And most people who travel there wouldn't have any idea that it could also be home to one of China's most secretive bases. That's because on a remote part of the southern shoreline, it's believed that the country has built a huge underground naval base that's only a few miles from the city of Sanya. There's no absolute confirmation that the Yulin Naval Base actually exists, though. But satellite imagery taken by a number of intelligence agencies has shown significant construction works taking place in the past two decades, as well as what appears to be a Shenkla submarine entering it. Because of its position near to the continental shelf, it would be the ideal location to launch submarine fleets into the South China Sea without being detected. And it is an area that China is trying to exert increasing control over. If the reports are to be believed, the naval base is able to hold up to 20 nuclear submarines and potentially even a few aircraft carriers. And it's been speculated that it soon will become capable of being the base of operations for several aircraft carrier groups as military operations ramp up in that region. Number 4. Pine Gap, Australia Pine Gap is a joint defense facility located in the Australian outback near Alice Springs that's jointly operated by the United States Central Intelligence Agency, the National Security Agency, and the Australian Signals Directorate, and is used for intelligence gathering, signals interception, and satellite tracking. This top-secret site was developed in 1970 as part of the U.S.-Australia Joint Defense Space Research Facility, with the primary role being to intercept and analyze foreign signals intelligence. To do this, it's equipped with a range of advanced technologies, including satellite dishes and computer systems, and these are used to intercept and analyze communications from around the world, but particularly from across Asia and the Pacific. This has, however, meant that the Pine Gap has been a source of controversy in Australia due to its concerns about its role in intelligence gathering and surveillance, and the diplomatic issues this may cause with the country's nearby neighbors. Some critics argue that the facility violates the privacy rights of individuals and raises concerns about Australia's sovereignty, and in recent years there have been calls for greater transparency about the facility's activities and for greater oversight by the Australian government, requests that have so far been ignored. Number 3. Vocal Air Base, the Netherlands Vokel Air Base is a military air base located in the Netherlands and near the town of Vokel in the province of North Brabant. It's owned and operated by the Royal Netherlands Air Force and it's home to several squadrons of F-16 fighter jets, along with other aircraft and support units. The base was originally built in the 1950s as a NATO facility to provide air defense for Western Europe during the Cold War, but in the 1990s, the RNLAF took over control and has since become an important training and operational base for the Dutch military. Vocal plays a critical role in the defense of the Netherlands and is often used for joint training exercises with other NATO allies, with being the home to several Dutch military units, including the 312 and 313 tactical fighter squadrons, which operate those F-16 fighter jets. It's also a place that the U.S. military keeps nuclear weapons, and this has, unsurprisingly, been a cause for concern domestically within the Netherlands. With most criticism focusing on the heightened secrecy and security this entails on behalf of another country. Currently, the U.S. stores an estimated 20 B-61 nuclear bombs at the airbase as part of a joint NATO nuclear sharing agreement, but there are continual calls from political parties and activists for their removal from Dutch soil. In recent years, Vogel Air Force Base has become the center of renewable energy and one of the greenest military installations in the world. In 2013, the RNLAF installed a large solar energy field on the base, which provides a significant portion of the base's energy needs, and it's also implemented other energy-saving measures, such as energy-efficient lighting and heating systems. It's hoping to act as a blueprint for other sites, too. Number 2. Area 51, United States Area 51 is a highly controversial and secretive military facility located in the southern Nevada desert, and it's shrouded in mystery and has become the subject of numerous conspiracy theories over the years. 
It's officially known as the Nevada Test and Training Range, but it's commonly referred to as Area 51 due to its proximity to a grid reference marker labeled as Area 51 on old maps. The history of the site dates back to the 1950s, when it was established as a testing location for experimental aircraft and weapons systems. The area was chosen for its remoteness and harsh desert environment, which provided a secure testing environment and has allowed it to play a crucial role in the development of various military technologies, including the U-2 spy plane, the F-117 Nighthawk stealth fighter, and the RQ-170 Sentinel drone. What really sets Area 51 apart from other military facilities, though, is the level of mystery surrounding it and the extent to which authorities keep things secret. It's highly restricted with a no-fly zone imposed over the area and heavily armed guards patrolling its perimeter. And for a long time, the government wouldn't officially acknowledge the existence of the facility or its activities, leading to a wealth of speculation and conspiracy theories, of course. One of the most persistent theories surrounding this area is that it's home to extraterrestrial technology and the U.S. government is secretly studying and reverse engineering alien spacecraft. This idea gained traction in the 1980s and 90s when a number of individuals claiming to have worked there came forward with stories of alien technology and government cover-ups. And while there's no concrete evidence to support these claims, they continue to capture the public imagination. In recent years, the U.S. government's begun to acknowledge the existence of Area 51, releasing previously classified documents and allowing limited access to the facility for researchers and journalists. But much of the activities taking place there remain shrouded in secrecy, so it's likely to remain a subject of speculation and controversy for many years to come. Number 1. The Vatican Apostolic Archives, Vatican City the Vatican Apostolic Archives, located within the walls of Vatican City, is one of the most significant and extensive collections of historical documents in the world. It's said to contain more than 600 collections of documents and manuscripts that cover a period of over 12 centuries. The collection includes the personal papers of many popes, important state papers, and documents relating to the Catholic Church's governance, including correspondence, legal documents, and financial records, as well as significant works of art and rare books. The archive can be traced back to the 4th century, when the Vatican Library was founded. But the facility as we now think of it today was established in the late 16th century by Pope Sixtus V. To begin with, only high-ranking officials in the church could access documents held within. But in 1881, Pope Leo XIII opened them to scholars and researchers. The Vatican Apostolic Archives have some of the tightest security measures of any place on Earth, which are necessary to protect the valuable and delicate contents. Access to the archives is restricted, and researchers must obtain permission from the Vatican Secret Archives Department. The reading room is only open to a limited number of researchers at a time, and all visitors are closely monitored by security. The archives have played a crucial role in historical research, particularly in the study of the Catholic Church's history, with experts being granted a fascinating insight into the papacy's development, the secrets of the Catholic Church, and the history of Italy and Europe. The archives have also been instrumental in authenticating historical documents, including manuscripts and works of art. With so much hidden within, many people believe the archives contain controversial records too, that if exposed could completely change the perception of the church and other institutions around the world. Meaning it's not just the Vatican that benefits from the secrecy, but plenty of governments and royal families from across the planet too. I'll see you next time. Watch our obscure playlist for more top 15 videos about the more obscure subjects in our world. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best and most obscure videos.